In today's Tech Check, a topic anyone with a smartphone should probably pay attention to. Recent headlines warn people not to stare at your phone screens in the dark because studies are showing doing so can speed up blindness. Now, it's a story that's getting a lot of attention in the media and, admittedly, scaring cell phone users along the way. So we asked Desert News columnist Amy Iverson to fill us in. Do these headlines freak you out? It did freak me out because I'm in my 40s, and so I had to get readers lately. <laughs> I like the and head I'm swagger. Like, this is why. It's because I'm staring at my screen too much. It's making me go blind. That was the ultimate Amy <laughs> attitude. I'm in my 40s, Ooh, right. and my phone is to blame for my poor eyesight. Yeah, so I kind of freaked out when I read it, but then I dug a little deeper, and so did one of my favorite websites, The Verge, luckily. And they found that actually this is not a definitive study. When they did the study, they used blue light that wasn't from a screen. It was manufactured. And they used cells that weren't from the eye, a human eye. So they're like, we need more research. So I'm like taking a breath. There's still no definitive research telling us that blue light makes you go blind. So you can reach for the readers in calmness and peace. Yes. Well, blue light, define what that is and why we should be aware of it. So blue light is still harmful to us because it's kind of like UV rays. Think of it that way. Okay. And so it, while it may not definitively be causing us to go blind, it does cause eye strain, which maybe you've had that. You work a lot on a computer uh -huh. and your eyes get tired. Maybe you get headaches. Maybe you get things like that. That's from the blue light. That can be causing mm -hmm. it. So what's the solution then? I mean, preventatively, what could we be doing? Okay, well, I'll tell you one more reason why the blue light is hard, because maybe you've seen this. It'll make you have a hard time going to sleep. It messes up. It makes you think it's daytime. You do feel that at night. When I reach for my phone, maybe mm -hmm. I'm having a hard time nodding off or whatever, mm -hmm. and then it kind of wires you up and hypes yes. you up a little bit. So I have three things you can do. Please. Okay, so one, you may not have known you have this ability on your iPhone or your Android, most Androids, to put it in a night mode, Okay. which changes the hue. So it's not so much blue light uh -huh. so if you're reading before you go to bed and that's in both you're gonna go to like settings and then a display and on iPhone what I do is you can set like times like I say from 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. Oh. give me that warmer tone it does it automatically mm -hmm. nice or you can do it manually okay. manually but okay. I like doing it automatically the other thing is um, have you seen the she's blue light glasses she's got a prop people that are yellow have you no. seen these? Okay, well, they have blue light glasses, and they say, wear these, it blocks out the blue light, but they're yellow. They're <laughs> super unattractive. Okay. And I wrote that in my column, and this company, Pixel, was like, um, hey, have we're making us? cute ones. Okay. So they have come up with, you want to try them on? Sure, I'll be your I model. tried them on, and I'll be your great. Harry Potter. These can block um, a big percentage of blue light. Aren't they cute? I just got the lightest ones. You can get like the okay. more hipster ones. They yeah. have all different styles. Yeah. But these are only about 100. You can put your, your prescription in there oh. if you wear glasses. Yes. But these will block out blue light. And so if you are having headaches, if you're having eye strain, if you're having dry eyes, the blue light, you can block it with something uh, that's, like No, this. it's nice. No, I'm, I'm, I'm having fun here. But it's this nice. This also no. blocks UV light. So you yeah. could wear it outside and it's going to help block the sun, which I love. And I have to think the more gadgets and technology become part of our lives, this is going to be kind of that mainstream accessory we start to reach I for. Know. And so the, the company's called? Pixel. Pixel. Yes, and the last one is kind of common sense, but as I was doing my column, I'm like, I was doing it, and I realized I never do this otherwise. There's a basic rule of thumb. If you're on your computer for 20 minutes, uh -huh. you need to take 20 seconds, which isn't that long, and change your viewing. Look into the distance for a minute, for 20 seconds for every 20 minutes. Think about how often you're on your computer. Oh, sure. If you're on it more than two hours, they say take 15 minutes off. I hadn't heard this. So, so you're not straining your eyes. If you're getting headaches, if you're getting blurry vision, if you're having dry eye, that's why. All Sorry right. to break it to you. More detail in Amy's column, which we can find weekly at desertnews.com slash Amy. Great information. Thank you so much.